Hey guys, Bud Redenauer here for New Haven Church, and today I brought along my old friend, the guitar. That's right, because the effect that music has on us is amazing. <laughs> All throughout scripture it talks about the amazing effect that music has on us and in 1 Samuel 16 verse 23 it says, And whenever a harmful spirit from God was upon Saul, David took the lyre and played it with his hand so Saul was refreshed and was well and the harmful spirit departed from him. Look, there's a ton of other verses that demonstrate the power of music but this is just one example. So let me quickly give you four effects that music has on the body. So grab your guitar and let's get going. Number one. Music makes you smarter. A 2008 study from the UK showed that kids who studied and practiced music for at least three years scored higher in the auditory discrimination abilities and fine motor skills. These kids also did better when they were tested on their vocabulary and nonverbal reasoning skills. This must be why all those musicians say they're always smarter than me. It makes sense. Number two. It helps with weight loss. Leonard Ayers, back in 1911, an American researcher, found that cyclists pedaled faster when they were listening to music than when they were in silence. You probably already noticed this. This happens because the music is distracting your brain from your own body's signals of your fatigue. Listening to music competes for our brain's attention rather than focusing 100% on our body tiring. Does that make sense? See, this is silence, and I already feel like we've slowed down a little bit. We need the music back up. Number three, music boosts your immune system. A 2006 thesis written at Harvard University pointed out that, yes, it does slow fatigue, but it also changes the pulse and respiration rates and even the external blood pressure levels. You ever hear of something called the Mozart effect? It's a study that found that old Wolfgang's piano sonata in D major led to a decrease in epilepsy in patients, and doctors are even extending it now to coma patients. And number four, music improves our spirit. Saul and 1 Samuel knew this, as did David, and, and I'm guessing that all of us do. David would play, and Saul would be refreshed, and he'd be better. And now here we are, all these years later, and Stanford University proves this. For the 20 people who participated in the study, they found that depressions fell, moods rose, more than the ones who didn't listen to music at all during this eight-week study. So if this is true about what the world's music can do, just think about what we can do with our worship time. Just think about the possibilities, the amazing effects that praise and worship has on our bodies. And with so much amazing worship playing on the radio today, on our phones, everywhere, we've never had it so good. For more information, you can reach us at newhavenbc.com, check us out on YouTube, or here on Facebook at facebook.com newhavenbc.